Hey what's up guys, poor Owl here, and today I'm going to show you a super in-depth route into farming Alderman on Classic WoW. A couple things that you'll need is a mage, I'm not sure if you can do this on other classes because I haven't tried yet, but this route guide is for mages. A few things that I like to bring to the dungeon with me are major healing potions and greater arcane elixirs for increased spell damage. I like to pop my shield before I run in, so I can use it before I start the first fight. Alright, first run to the right and pull these five here. And just AoE them down. Interrupt any healing oracles. Now shield and evocate immediately. You want to use evocate as soon as you can so you don't waste any time. Alright, just turn around and fight these guys over here. Pull this first guy here. And this guy over here too. Now just AoE them down. Make sure to pop your shield before you get food and mana, so you can use your shield a second time during the fight. Alright, now just pull these two over here, and kite. Pull this guy in the cave, and these three over here too. And just AoE them down. You're going to have to do some kiting so you don't die, so be careful in here. You always want to be kiting to avoid damage. Pop your shield before you get food and mana. Now open up with two fireballs on Eric the Swift and Balog. You can target Eric the Swift from the right and then run over to the left to attack Balog. Pull the ad behind you. These adds to the left. And this one ad to the right over here. Now just kite.
running a little low on mana, so I really have to kite here. And we're all good. As you can see, the fight's a little difficult, so you gotta be really careful in here. The Swiftness Potion that we just picked up from Eric the Swift will come in handy later on, so make sure you hold on to that. It increases your run speed by 50% for 15 seconds, so you definitely want to make sure that you keep that. And I think we got all the loot here. Now just run straight ahead. And gather health and mana. Now just pull these ads and run forward. And just AoE them down. Now just gather health and mana. And we'll be using the swiftness potion that we picked up from Eric the Swift earlier here. Now just pull everything in this room. An ice block over here. Now just wait for everything to gather up. And jump forward and frost Nova. Now apply your shield and start to AoE them down. You're going to want to pop Cold Snap here so you can burst them down very quickly. I'm gonna pop evocate now so I can just keep fighting as soon as I can.
Now just pull these two over here. And jump into the scorpion pit. And just AoE them down. I like to skip this ad. It's not really worth the time to kill just one ad. Now gather health and mana over here. And we can pull everything in this room here. So open up with a fireball. And then another fireball on the boss. Be careful, the boss can reflect. And now just pull everything else in the room. The adds can also silence, so you gotta be careful for that. If you get in too much danger, there's a door behind the boss that you can exit through that'll take you outside of the dungeon where you can get health and mana and try again. Now just run over here. and get health and mana. Always make sure you apply your shield before you get health and mana. Now just pull everything over here and run into this room here. And make sure you do some good kiting in this room. These guys really hurt. Got an unlocked chest over here. Make sure you open them up. They're not always unlocked, but make sure you open them when they are. It's really easy for beginners to forget about the chest or just not see it over here. Now just pull these guys and the steward.
and AoE them down. Now just fight the boss over here. I recently picked up Miner's Hat of the Deep from this boss, which is an extremely rare drop, and I didn't even know it could drop from this boss, so you never know what might drop a rare or an epic. When pulling packs of these dwarves, make sure you focus on the stone steward because he hits the hardest, has the most HP, and he can stun. Now just gather mana over here. And get ready to pull the stone vault brawlers and these scorpions behind me here. Alright, open up with some fireballs here. That one brawler got out of my line of sight, so I'm just gonna leave him in the cave over there. Because he would take too long to group up, and I would take too much damage. Now just AoE these guys down. Jump in the scorpion pit to avoid damage. It takes them a really long time to get to you in here. Gather health and mana. And we're going to be using Cold Snap on this fight here because it's a nice big pull with a lot of adds.
I meant to attack the Geomancer second, so I can interrupt his spell cast. And now just AoE them down. If there's anywhere in the dungeon that you want to kite, it's here, because when these brawlers enrage, they hit you for a lot of your HP, so you gotta be super careful in this room. And now just pull everything with fireballs. And make sure you interrupt the Geomancer so you can group them up easier. I'm going to use a potion on this fight so I don't die. I usually bring 5 major healing potions, but I'm only doing one run to showcase for you guys, so I should be fine. Usually with the Spirit of Zandalar buff, I can get in 3 full runs, so 5 major healing potions seems to be a good number. Shoot a fireball at the Geomancer's second because they don't start casting for a while and it's easier to get that second fireball off. Once you have full mana and health, you can pull everything in this room too.
I'm gonna have to potion up again in this fight, because I was pretty bad with kiting. Now just run over here and get ready for the Stone Vault Maulers. The Stone Vault Maulers are even more dangerous than the Stone Vault Brawlers, so you gotta be super careful over here because when they enrage, they hit you very, very, very hard. I usually only pull two or three at a time because when they enrage, they hit very, very hard. I'm just going to wait for this mauler to patrol back a little bit further. Now just pull these two over here. And now you can pull these guys up here with some fireballs.
Now just pull these guys over here. And AoE them down. And now just run through this door. Now just pull this first group here. And now gather food and mana. This next fight is a little difficult, so you really want to make sure that you do some good kiting in this room. Pull this group on the left, and this group on the right. I had to use a superior healing potion in this fight, but don't worry, the superior healing potions drop all the time. As you can see, I just picked one up actually. Now just run back. Over here to the left. Back to the room where you killed the ancient stone keeper. And up here. Now blink over this scorpion. And pull the scorpions in this pit over here. Now just run over here, blink over the ads, or pull them if you want to. I usually skip them though, and just kill these scorpions in the pit. Okay, and now you can just run out and reset.
Hopefully this guide was helpful for those who don't know how to run Alderman. And if you have any questions, you can catch me at twitch.tv slash poorowl, where I've been farming Alderman a lot lately on Classic WoW in hopes of getting a Pendulum of Doom for my Shaman. And so far after 250 runs, I haven't seen it. So I hope I can see you guys there, and I hope I can find Pendulum of Doom soon. Thank you for watching, and good luck farming everyone.